and you have already a project running, right? Yeah. In, in Felden? In Felden, yeah. In Felden? Felden. Yeah. Exactly. Super it's about, small town. It's, it's about uh, uh, food for us, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So basically I started half a year ago with a friend and she was studying well we both come from Felde which is a super yeah. small place so I already knew about her but we didn't really connect before and then I, I encountered her here and uh, I met her again in Wageningen so then we, we got to talk like oh what are you doing here and she was into uh, sustainable agriculture I was more of the nutrition side and we were just discussing this like yeah but we should you know there are super nice projects here already and it works but i feel like in limburg where i'm from the south um it it's it's a few steps behind and it always takes time before things get through and we were like okay why should we not try and because people always say yeah maybe they are not ready yet or something so we were like okay we just try and then see how it goes and yeah basically now we <laughs> we started it so it started out of a bit of a fun idea and then it grew out there were a lot of people that were super enthusiastic we were like okay whoa okay we have to start now we cannot say oh no yeah. we were just trying something but we have to actually go through with it now cool and i was watching the intro video super <laughs> nice and you have a real message behind the, the whole project mm-hmm. like you have the educational purpose yeah uh, the children in in the target uh, as, a, as a target group mm-hmm. to approach and uh, the project will also uh, kind of support the biodiversity in this area and of course the the social social engagement can be also uh, triggered by it and what is the main focus or how, how because it's very nice how you actually integrated everything I see also the the food and the local food production uh, from all of these angles mm-hmm. so we cannot uh, just put it like this is uh, like food production and you don't have to go there uh, you know which is uh, the industrial agriculture most of the time is they are the farmers are not creating nice places to be yeah uh. and of course people don't want to go there they, they don't want to spend their time there but why not I mean yeah we were also thinking about this like how can we really change it and then i mean healthy food is super hot topic now but um helene my friend is then in the sustainable agriculture and then we also encountered the food forest and we thought that was maybe a super nice way of combining healthy food but not only staying in this conventional way of producing it but also showing people another uh, way of having healthy food but at the same time um, producing it sustainably and um, yeah that's basically what that's where it started and then we felt like okay we have to include as many people as possible so we want to have the children interacting with the elderly or the people that are um, alone sometimes and the teenagers which are still a bit hard to (laughs) to get connected to the project but yeah we want to have everyone involved yeah, but if you create a kind of a, a milieu or a kind of a environment, uh, that just like environment, but uh, you know this uh, this nice uh, feeling, nice setting, what you have it, for example, in a, in the creative garden, mm-hmm. that uh, can also attract the, the younger people, also with the cooking and music and all of this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's not not that a, not uh, that big challenge. Uh, just uh, you know just try to uh, step in their shoes and uh, see what attracts them yeah exactly but it's now we have already most people are already linked in some way to the project except for these Hmm. and the youngsters and then we found now a location which is next to all the sport sports facilities which is super convenient but there because there are all these young people we yeah. want to actually involve in our project yeah. as well so we, it's yeah we are in the in the middle of the of the of the village so it's also a lot of visibility that we hope it will work out the way we think and is it a, a social initiative with an entity with a legal entity or 
what is the plan you're gonna create a business model or not or what is the biggest challenge right now mm. besides the youngsters <laughs> the biggest challenge now is um um yeah not really sure now it's going pretty we had the the really big problem of the location but that's solved like mm. one month ago yeah. so that's super nice but we still have yeah in order the government or the municipality wants to help us but in order for them to help us we need to become a foundation or something mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. But we already found a solution because there are people that already have a foundation, which is urban farming. And they said, okay, we want you guys to be, you know, you can become a, a separate entity of our foundation. So you don't need to pay all the money because it's mm. quite expensive to yeah. to uh, set up a foundation. Um, so that's all solved now. I think now, f I think the biggest challenge is to keep people motivated. Because a lot of people said they want to become involved, but they're go yeah. We had a lot of time talking to people and discussing things, but uh, yeah, of course the people that want to be involved they don't see all this. So we yeah. really need to find a way of keeping them involved, and before we actually can start and yeah, plant and really do stuff. Yeah, and you're gonna also have a fixed day uh, there like a Sunday or uh, two days a week or what is the plan because there are many many uh, but I experienced that uh, in a food chain even if you are going to a restaurant or uh, from the from the farm to the fork mm -hmm. there are many many micro tasks which should be done and the organization is sometimes a bigger challenge than uh, to to do this uh, these these uh, micro tasks tasks and uh, what is the plan with that we haven't really talked about yeah. this yet we still have to even figure out if we want to have uh, members or whether we want to have just sponsors or we actually set a meeting for that now um, but that's the thing uh, we want Helene and I started and we had this kind of idea but we also want it to become a community project. So for us, it's really also looking at, well, it's obviously a, a great learning experience, but also um, we do not want to have everything like, okay, this is how we are going to do it yeah. because we want to have input from other people. So yeah. we created a board now and we really want to make them also, um, yeah, and, how do you say involved it? yeah involved or be the part of it like that they take the responsibility yeah. yeah so that if we step away in maybe a couple of years because we also don't know what will happen after yeah. we graduate or something that it's still sustainable and that it's not like okay these two girls wanted to have it this and that way but we actually didn't want so now we mm. stop or something i don't know yeah 